Don't spend a lot of time thinking about the packaging, but it could be a very big game changer for Procter & Gamble. Dan Monk is joining us with what's been just released about a whole other aspect of P&G I never thought about. Yeah, there's a company called Influx, a new subsidiary. They just incorporated it in August. Earlier this month, they won tax credits, P&G did, to build this new uh, enterprise in Westchester where they're expecting to uh, create about 200 jobs. And uh, these are nice paying jobs, average salary of 79000 But today, in the earnings call, uh, P&G CFO John Moeller was asked about this new uh, subsidiary and he said that it has the potential to save the company $200 million a year, Man. reduce costs from uh, packaging. It's a new injection molding technology um, that will allow them to produce packaging uh, more quickly and then use less materials. It's going to save energy, reduce the use of re resin. It's going to be a big uh, game changer in the packaging world. And we've seen so much from them trying to save money and pare down where they can. Yeah. That's a big chunk of money. It is. Yeah, really they're is. trying to save a lot of money through, uh, you know, shedding employees and doing uh, manufacturing improvements. And this is one of those improvements that apparently will be a, a big uh, deal for them. Unfortunately, on the other end, their yeah. pet care division not doing very great right now. They had a rough quarter. They had a series of pet food recalls uh, over concerns about uh, salmonella. They ended up changing their whole manufacturing process. And in the quarter, uh, they, uh, the, the division they're in declined uh, precipitously. The reason was largely due to pet care. There's been some speculation that P&G may be looking to sell that unit. Del Monte has been named as a, a potential buyer. They didn't talk about that in, uh, in the earnings calls, but uh, a lot of people expect uh, P&G to ultimately sell really? IMs in the, in the pet food divisions. Always looking at what's happening. If it's happening in business here, Dan Monk has it covered. Good to see you. Thank you very you much. Too. You can always see Dan's work right on our website. Just head over to WCPO.com. We're back after the break.